Hey, what's up guys? This is Proto Dead and I'm back with another long play. Today we're checking out some Death Stranding. This is episode number two. It's uh, Hideo Kojima's new game. It came out on the PlayStation 4, but just released on the PC. And uh, that's what we're playing it on now. DLSS on. So we'll see how good that looks with the uh, 2080 graphics card. We're going to be following the story that uh, Hideo Kojima crafted. Um, starring Norman Reedus as Taddy Porter Bridges. We're gonna see where this wild and crazy story takes us, so you guys know the drill. This is a long play, so it's gonna be uninterrupted gameplay. Oh, except for a minor last episode recap coming up. Um, no memes, no jokes, no extra bullshit, no fancy editing. This is just gonna be raw gameplay. We're gonna, we're shooting for a one hour chunk upload. So sit back and enjoy Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. I've been Proto Dead. I will see you in the future. What happened last time on Proto Dead's Long Play? All right, really cool introduction to Norman Reedus' character here, uh, Taddy Porter Bridges, as he hauls ass away from some birds that are chasing him. Here he is trying to make the jump. Gets wrecked by this uh this in, this bitch that goes invisible on him and makes him wreck out and he loses all of his shit he finds a nice cave to hide in from the rain the rain apparently makes you grow old he almost holds hands with a demon that uh, wants to hold his hand i think and then she tries to hold his hand and she tells him to be quiet she's like shush your mouth little child then norman Reedus cries a little bit and it makes me upset as, as it should. Casper Porter Bridges goes for a walk and uh, almost falls over a couple of times as he trips over some rocks and hilly whatever. He apparently has got to escort a uh, tightly bound and wrapped body to a, a cremation site. This guy sheds a tear because he's upset too. He heard that Norman Reedus cried earlier. Incubator Baby is pretty excited about it, does a little somersault. Demons come to, uh, to wipe him out. This guy's face goes gold. This guy's face goes old. Um, he who smelt it, dealt it over here. Uh, Norman Reedus uh, starts bleeding out of his leg. I mean, Casper Porter Bridges. Um, the demons want to hold this guy's hand, so they drag him off into the black abyss, and then uh, he gets shot in his head. Incubator Baby has another somersault. This guy tries to take the chicken shit way out and punch his own ticker, but the, the demon things have a, have other ideas in mind. And he's like, oh, okay, so you guys want me to stab myself in the stomach until I am dead. Well, then that's what I'll do. So he starts shanking his own tummy tum. And then this giant monster thing sucks everything up in his Cthulhu Lovecraftian maw and then explodes in a nuclear bat blast. I don't know. This isn't very hard to follow, but I'm getting lost. So some weird shit starts happening with some black hands and black prints. I... I don't know. Is this social commentary of our current, you know, socioeconomic problem? Norman Reedus obviously has had a C-section, and he apparently also has a necklace he has not been given yet. Norman Reedus cries a little bit, some more um, reoccurring theme here. I'm going to say that uh, this game is all about crying at this point. It's revealed that Norman Reedus does not like uh, the kinky stuff and because he's visibly upset that he's handcuffed to the bed. He isn't down with the kinky stuff. Guillermo del Toro um, appears here with a scar on his forehead that we won't find out till probably the second act of the uh, of the game, because you know that's how the weird shit develops. And then, in a plot twist, it's revealed that he's just a fucking hologram, and he wants nasty Nate Border Bridges to take this heroin or morphine. I'm sorry to the president, <laughs> fucking heroin to the president. Because she likes to get high, yes, America's first female president does the, slams the drugs. No, but in all seriousness, like all joking aside, silly recap segment aside, the, the story is fucking phenomenal. The graphics are gr crazy good, like it's wild, this is a wild, wild, good game, cool game. Gameplay sucks a fucking dick though. Um, Walking Simulator 2020 fucking pandemic bullshit. It fucking sucks. Like, it's terrible. It's like, it's gonna be hard for me to do more than like four of these episodes because fuck, man, this game is losing me. Um, the story's great. Gameplay sucks the fucking camel dick. Hate it. Worst. All right, 
on with the uninterrupted gameplay coming up a whole hour segment of this is what you expect from a gameplay like sitting down playing the fucking game good luck like i said her vital signs are all trending the same way no chance of a recovery then none that i can see no we should start making preparations sam it's me dead man Sorry, my mistake. I'm afraid the President's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Huh? The first and last female President of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. That's the President's right-hand man, the Director of Bridges. Die Hard Man? Oh, you were with Bridges One. So, I guess no introductions are necessary. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. Took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. 
help Amelie. She needs you. Together, you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> Madam President! Oh, no. Oh. Doctor, we need your help. Listen, no one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now what happened here does not leave this room, do you understand? Yes, Director, but there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered. Sam, before she died, the President made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question. And there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the President's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. 
But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements. Tombs. Repatriate. So me. Why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Now get it done, Sam Porter Bridges. President Strand believed in American Reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it, America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. We'll be monitoring you around the clock. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support by the cufflinks.
Sam. I don't think I need to remind you, but every minute counts when transporting corpses for disposal. 48 hours following cardiac arrest, they go necro and become a fresh BT to make our lives hell. You're a part of 
Oh no, 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 no. I'm so sorry.
So that's the place, huh? Goddamn Cottonmouth. gone and our headquarters along with it because that thing didn't do its job it's all in Igor's logs but it's still alive it can't be repaired and it can't survive outside the pod pity it if you want but the decision has been made it has to go the director approved the order Is fucked. There's tons of them. 
Must be from the bodies we couldn't get up to the incinerator in time. Comes with the territory, I'm afraid. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure, but the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea.
Command. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Welcome to Capital Knot City. Proceed to distribution center. Sam, come back to the distribution center. When someone with Dooms hooks up to a BB, your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It amplifies fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the President's office. We need to talk. Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in Kyralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the President. It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, 
and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. You did well, Sam. Thank you. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. 
Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Homily. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam? You're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. You do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition, the best of bridges won, and went west. I led them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenaut City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenaut City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant Separatist group. They run Edgenaut City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. There are extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force, 
by men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together, to form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on! Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. Sam. Listen. You are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. Not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away, 
But our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Sam, this is Die Hardman. You were out like a log. Must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dudes and repatriates. When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just the best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed.
This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. Have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. 
Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your Cupid, and bring Cairo Communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Alright, thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Uh, leave, uh, leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below expressing any other feelings that you might have. I have been Proto Dead, and I will see you in the future.